my tour. Hey everyone, I'm back again, but this time I'm Ben. In fact, call me Big Ben. Back in my Big Ben days, I used to bend all the bends and bend all the bends. Everyone knew me. Whenever I passed through crowds, people always felt my presence. But I'm sure you didn't feel my presence this time. So now, call me Brittle Ben. Because now, I might seem hard on the outside, but deep inside, I'm easy to break. I used to be an excellent engineer. I could design and construct buildings that could touch and poke the sky in the chest. My fashion style was what everyone was doing, and my presence it could brighten all the frowns. Until, until this day, when the big contract caused cataracts in my eyes, it made me pupils of greed and left me with a blurry vision. I repeat, until. The contract caused cataracts in my eyes. They made me a pupil of vision. They made me a pupil of greed. And let my vision go blurry. I'm sure my optometrist can relate. And so, I built my house on sand. Sweet Anya. Normalizing distraction. I repeat, sweet and near, normalizing my distraction. How many of us have been in Big Ben's boots and our foundation was built on the rock of obedience to Christ? But what seemed easier was disobedience and we felt it was okay until the storms and the rains came and our houses came crumbling down. Our houses came crumbling down. But in Matthew chapter 11 verse 20 he says, Come unto me, all who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to me, all who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So now, fellow builders, as we labor day and night, let us build our foundation on the solid rock of obedience to Christ. Even, and even if, even when we fall down flat, we know we have big Jesus, aka Bob the Builder. And yes, he fix it. Remember the words and not the words. Say, Jesus, God bless.